it's very sunny out. Man, it's a gorgeous day. I've been sitting in the van working, but uh, Emmy's coming by and we're gonna set up some of her electrical stuff today. That's the plan. At least just kind of lay it all out and sort of put together a list. So I'm gonna give her a hand with that today and, and I'm gonna try and, uh, I don't know, just do that. All right, Emmy got me a coffee. She put right there. And time to go work on her van. This whole thing? Yep. Two, we're gonna go at the each one at the end. One is smaller than the other one, just what I add. All right. Okay, this can go on a little bit later anyway, so that's fine. We'll put most of it back there, and this will be for the inverter. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to know. So the other one's probably gonna have to be notched. I'll just cut that. Oh, it's gonna work yeah. with that. Yeah. So, right. this is great because I can work on all this outside of your van. Yeah, you can have a chair, sit down, and you can pull your phone about two four. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, so the first thing I'm doing before anything else in here is I'm just setting up a, um, putting a riv nut on the vehicle so that she can ground it properly. So <clears throat> we've got this hole here. I'm just going to go with this one, but I can't get the tool in behind this uh, cabinet. And that was already there. I didn't realize that after I sanded it all. So, um, there's a little hole that we made right here and, uh, sanded it all off at least on this side so that'll give it a little bit more of a um, connection electrically to the the chassis and this is what i did in my van but uh anyway so i'm gonna put that in there that's it Okay, so what that does is it installs this, this mounting point right there. And there we go. That's the, the bolt that we'll use that. We'll just screw it all the way in. Make sure it doesn't uh, come in contact with the other, any other material in there. And that's pretty good. So there we go. Next up is getting a ground wire for her, and I think this one's going to be just fine. So, we'll see. This is a <clears throat> I think it's 2 watt gauge. These came from Jeffy Bear, by the way. Let's see. This is... Oh, it's give us this? Jeffrey Bear gave it. Yeah, 2 watt. Okay. So, 2 watt. So we can use this, it's free if you want to use it, 2 watt. Um, that should be plenty for grounding, but. Yeah, that's gonna be your ground wire, which is smoking big, but thanks, Jeffy, we'll use it. I'm just gonna use this wherever it goes, uh, wraps around the plywood, just as an extra little bit of protection on the wire. Right all right, gotta use well, Emmy's tools for this, cause mine are all, uh, not here. So, You'll like that. they were on a job site. There, there we go. go. Well, the trick with those things is you go, uh, you start it on one side. Yep. And then you as as you only go part way through and then you go through the other side. Yeah, well, just the that way you don't have like a big pull out of that's right 
Let's see how that fits first. So that's gonna work out pretty nice. All I'm gonna do now is just uh, try and smooth out some of the edge of this. And then maybe uh, down here, I'll just use the jigsaw and just take off that little bit that that way and then smooth this out. This is just where maybe the wires might come up from the, uh, from the front of the van. <laughs> That's not really going to work that well. No? No, it'll, it'll jump all over the place. But that's pretty nice. This is just to soften the corner so that... You don't get the... Doesn't make hole or anything? Yeah, a little, a little less... Like, yeah. you know, of a high pressure friction point. Shunt. You shunt what's that? <laughs> it's a, uh, you know the battery monitor? Uh, little brown box. Yeah, that, that one over there. This one? Yeah. And I need that, that's a shunt there, if you want to pull it out. There you go. There we go. Shunt. Shunt, here's a piece of foam. Okay. The shunt, you guys. Oh, can you give me the instruction too for that yep. thing? Just want to make sure I got. I'm reading all this property. So we got B negative, P negative. I assume this one goes to the battery, but I'll find out. Okay, guys, yeah. So the instructions are correct, or the assumption is correct. B negative goes to battery negative. P negative is all other negatives. So, gives me an idea how I need to orient this thing on here. Uh, Mount it three ways, which is kind of nice if I do it like that. Okay, so this is a bigger bolt and it won't fit through there, which is okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this case is uh, I'll have to build a little, um, I'm actually gonna build a little copper standoff for this. Or, or I could go, I could do that, let's see. I got some options to think about. The other option is connecting it just to this. fit it all in one place here so I need a charger next I need to make sure this is mounted in a way that I got enough room for everything coming off the top of it and underneath and that's pretty tight if I put it like this I could put it that way but it's nice that breathing room on the side there's a little bit more room over here but You could put it way over there. 
which isn't so bad actually. But Put that there it gives me more room for this which is kind of nice i think that's how i'm gonna do it that's gonna go there that's fine that one's gonna go up there and we'll need a pretty small little screw for that guy. But my five eighths would work? No, they're small um, I mean, small as in like a small diameter. Oh, okay. It's pretty, I don't know why I did. But I'm gonna mount, I'm gonna use all the screw points so that it's right up in there. Um, this one, we'll put it here. I'll need a little bit of height for the wires. This is the thinking part. Uh, you know, try and map this out in my head, and then figure out where I want the wires to go. And I'll share my process after I figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> This is the, the layout I'm gonna use. Um, I'm probably not gonna use this. I might I might try to avoid it. If not, I'll probably put that right there. So the way this is gonna work is um, I'm gonna have the, the negative ground from the vehicle coming straight to here. And then this here is gonna connect to, um, basically all negatives are gonna connect onto this for the entire system. And then there'll be a wire from this that's gonna go up to here on the, the negative side of the shunt and then the battery negative wire is going to connect to there so that way everything's connected right here for the negatives um, and it just sort of simplifies everything kind of keeps it down in this area this uh, bottom port here on this one is the positive um, goes to the positive on the battery but what it's going to do is it's going to run out and go right here into the side of this so it's going to run the wire up and over probably like down through here somewhere and then into here this side of this fuse is going to go into this thing and it's also going to have a wire either probably like two wires coming out of the side of this thing and it's going to have the other one going to the positive on the battery so that way this is always going to be connected to the battery through the fuse um, and that's that so uh, and then this switch here, you should be able to turn it off. Uh, in this case, it's going to be turning it that way. And that'll cut power to the inverter and then the fuse block, which is right here. Probably don't even need that one technically, but because the wire is going to go straight from there to there anyway, so that's probably not even useful I'll think about that. But anyway, that if, if I were to do that, that's... That's where the fuse is gonna go for, for this guy here. And then the wire would just come out of here, go into there, come out of there, go into the bottom of this. Um, and there'll be a wire coming out of this side as well, going into the back side of this fuse. This one's gonna be for the inverter. And then that wire is gonna run over here and go into the back of the inverter like so. And then the negative on the back of the inverter is just gonna go right here. So that'll be the basic setup. And then um, of course later when and if she does uh, the, this is where the alternator is going to uh, alternator positive is going to connect to this port, and that wire is going to probably be coming up through this hole. So positive will go to that, and then the negative can go 
it can go straight onto this really because there'll be a wire connecting to that anyway um, and then this will be for her solar if she gets a solar positive wire it'll come in here at that point though we'll put the solar on probably um, a breaker so that she can turn it off if ever she needs to disconnect or work on anything like that she can cut any charges coming down from the solar panels into here so that I don't think she's going that route anyway just yet but this 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 charger will allow her to use solar in the future if she wants that's it Alright, so before I screw this one down, I'm going to take a picture of this for her. And there we go. Alright guys, so I got the, most of this stuff attached. Uh, she's out getting the screws for the little plastic thing to hold that on. Um, these are over there. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be putting that right in the middle here. And she's got the switch too, which, uh, which will go right in there. So anyway, what I'll do now is I'll just kind of like uh, make some notes here um, on the wiring, just size everything. And, uh, and that's it. Get a shopping list going. All right. Just went and picked up some uh, wire and stuff. I had a little bit. Swami's back. We got lunch. Swami. <laughs> Same temperature from outside from inside. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I picked up some uh, some wires and stuff. Yeah. You can use that stool if you want to sit on. Oh, I'm gonna see you this next week on freaking YouTube. <laughs> Will on her channel, it'll be like three weeks before I get around to putting it out. I'm gonna have to like start editing two, like getting two videos out a day in order for me to catch up. And that's a lot, like, you know, I'm, like some people will be like, yeah, that's too much to watch or whatever. It's a lot of work though. You don't want to mix that up in the laundry mat, eh? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeff's pee bottle officially is a laundry detergent bottle. So the joke was, is if he was not paying attention, he might be taking that one into the laundry detergent <laughs> or laundry place and do his laundry with his urine. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to get back to work. Go back to the there you go. Yep. All right. So I just picked up some wires. She's probably got the screws. And I'm after this box. <laughs> I think this is just leftover stuff from, from my build. Let's see. Calm wires and stuff. This is this is what I'm after. I'll probably reuse some of this stuff and save her a little bit of money. Just to make sure the gauges are appropriate and all that stuff. And then Somewhere in here, heat shrink. Okay. So I got some connectors. That's what I want. This one, and I got two of those. Do. That was excellent. Can I help you with something? Oh. 
No, 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 not right now. <laughs> I just wanted to get this connected because it's going to be hard for me to connect this wire once it's screwed onto the board. So that takes care of that. Insulation. Well, it wasn't quite cut right, but there we go. So take that off. That is some thick insulation on that wire. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get this on there like that. Put that there. Put this here. So you kind of find out like where the wire wants to, wants to naturally go. And that's, I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll get my marker, here it is, and I'll just draw a line like this and a line like that. So now I know how it needs to be oriented on the, on this guy, the press. go line up those marks That's that. So, got some heat shrink on there. So basically, um, yeah, there's the whole setup there. And then this is connecting the negative side of the uh, shunt is where all the negative power is going to come out of. This side goes directly to the battery only. And then here, uh, I'm going to be using this post as a bus bar for all the negatives. And I might, uh, there might be enough room here to put one more negative right on this, um, which I could run from there to the top of this guy um because that needs a negative as well and uh it could get a little busy down here but i've got room for one more there so we'll see i always push my hat around after a while because i get it uh i don't know i just get warm or whatever <clears throat> anyway uh oh, it's chilly in here or just going to the store and um I'm gonna buy some, see if we can get some stuff for her and then just carry on the installation. I'm trying to get most of this stuff done on that whole board um, so that it can go back in her van. If, if we can get it all done today, that'd be great. And then all that'll be left will be like running the wires from the front to the back and all that sort of thing. Oh man. <sighs> I think I know why I'm tired all the time. 
and I think the main reason is because I haven't been like physically active that much lately and so my uh, I think my metabolism's low <sighs> some of that might have to do with diet but I think most of it has to do with lack of exercise so I've been going to the gym and uh, so far just doing some gentle yoga and some stretching and basically just trying to bring a little bit more mobility in a few areas and uh, that's all I've been doing this week I think next week I might start to um, maybe do a little bit more lighter activity as well but I might just carry on with the stretching for the time being. Um, my thought is to go to a specialist. There's a really good place down in Vancouver that's been on my mind. It's been calling me and I'm thinking of spending some money and going there and getting like a, a whole uh, movement assessment done and consultation and uh, some direction in terms of what kind of rehabilitation stuff I can incorporate and build up some strength and probably see the same person for a little while until I can get a little bit more of an equilibrium happening in my body that way then I can approach maybe more like symmetrical type exercises uh, but until then I might I might do, take on some asymmetrical stuff for a little while just to try and balance things out left to right right to left Most particularly with my hips. It's a beautiful day. Won't be long and you can already see it. There's already some skunk cabbage coming up. It won't be long the bears will be coming out. Look for some snacks and all that kind of thing. Okay, we got all the uh, the lugs. The next step is to get the cable. I didn't have any here, so I'm gonna go uh, check out a place called Triton and see if they got it. Uh, it's just a local like automotive uh, industrial supply shop in Squamish. Oh, there we go. You can probably hear me better now. <laughs> Getting sleepy. I was yawning like... I was yawning all day, like that drive over. Couldn't stop yawning. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this torch takes gas. Yeah, it's not really a torch, it's more like a, a miniature heat gun. It's uh, not super ideal for this much heat shrink, but it's all I got. And I don't really want to go buy a one that would be a more appropriate size for this. Mm -hmm. It's working, it's working. Exactly.
and basically what happened was I was working on all that electrical stuff and I had my camera propped up and uh, the battery died. I really didn't have a clue and I didn't have it plugged into something like a Jackery or anything like that so it just it just petered out. But anyway, I didn't quite finish everything but kind of wrapped it up. So we're gonna get together again probably next week and then try and finish things up. So there's a few more wires and stuff to do on that whole like setup with, with all the components. And then we'll run the main wiring and then uh, get the batteries in place and hook all those things up and then that'll be that. So um, yeah, things are moving along pretty good as far as far uh, as far as all that goes. Now because I don't do this like on a professional level, <clears throat> I tend to like, you know, be a little bit nervous when it comes time to like turn it all on. I'm confident with everything. It's just, it's just this, you know, thing in the background. Maybe it's part of my subconscious. But anyway, I was chatting with Jeffy about it. He's like, you ever get stressed out about that stuff? Like doing all that? And uh, I said, yeah, sometimes. I said today was pretty easy, but um, I said, you know, when it, when it comes time to turning everything on and you know, there's always a little bit of like stress inside where it's like, oh, did, did I do something wrong? Am I gonna blow something out or, you know, break something, you know, or, or worse yet, have a short somewhere that I just didn't see, all those kinds of things. I think all that stuff's pretty unlikely, but it's just it's just kind of the way my mind works sometimes and, and usually I end up stressing out about stuff that I don't need to. But um, I think if I did this kind of thing in like, a professional atmosphere let's say I was like trained at this and I repeated this kind of thing over and over let's say I worked in a van building shop and I was doing electrical all the time I might go through this little like little stage that I'm going through these feelings that I'm sharing with you now right at the beginning of that whole we'll call it a real condensed apprenticeship right at the very beginning where it's kind of like you get through this little nervousness part and once you get through that then you're then you're kind of like you know what you're doing and uh, you know what's good and when something's failing you know it's not your stuff but it, it's you know probably a defective piece of equipment or something like that and at that stage of the game you're just looking at something and you're like yeah that's good you know so um, I think that comes with experience from working on a lot of different vehicles and in the case with me because I don't do that with a lot of different vehicles um, I take a lot of extra time with this sort of thing and, and really make sure that it's all legitimately good before I energize the system and um, so yeah I'll read through the manuals again and make sure I'm engaging everything the way it's supposed to go on and then of course um, I'll probably do like a short little video and uh, sort of like a how-to or like an informational thing for Emmy so that she can refer to that if ever she needs to in the future you know because she was saying like a lot of it's just stuff she doesn't really get and um, and I guess I can appreciate that. So it's, it's nice to have like something that you can go check on, like a little video that sort of says, yeah, this is what this is connected for. This is how this is, you know, hooked up to that and all that sort of thing. It's kind of obvious when I look at it for my own eyes, but maybe not so much for, for Emmy and some other people. So um, anyway, so that's kind of the plan. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that for today, guys. So. Um, We'll pick up where we left off on this next week. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, Emmy's YouTube channel name is The Cat Lady Van. Uh, I'll link that down below. And she's uh, she's probably gonna share her side of all this as well because her camera is running at the same time. And we had a chat about that afterwards. We were like, should we really be doing this? Because everybody that watches your channel watches my channel kind of thing. Not everybody, but I was like, I said, the amount of times that we're going to be like crossing paths and like doing that kind of thing, where we're both filming the same thing, I said, it's probably going to be pretty slight. So I think it's totally fine that we're just, we share it. So you guys will get a perspective of it on this side. And if you go to her channel, you can see her perspective of it as well. And yeah, it's probably going to be, you know, about it. She's she's going to be traveling around doing her own thing, and I'm going to be out doing my own thing anyway. Some of you guys said, are we dating? And no, we're not dating. Uh, we are friends, though. So, um, but anyway, yeah, that's it. So, thanks, guys. We'll, uh, we'll catch you soon. All right. Bye for now.